Hello everyone, welcome to TestNG tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you or provide you the live example of where you can utilize data provider to data drive your test case. So as we have, you know, discussed and I have explained a brief uh, about, you know, the real case where you might utilize the data provider. So for example, this is uh, the demo website, sourcedemo.com and there are multiple username and passwords right so for example standard user if you you know use standard username and password and click on login login should be successful if you use logged out user it should you know like give you the uh, specific error message based on the logged out user or problem user or performance glitch, glitch user so depending on what sort of username and password you are using um, there should be different, you know, error message being displayed. And this is very common scenario in, you know, any um, application uh, that you might be, you know, testing um, within your organization. Uh, if, uh, you know, it, it requires username and password and you are required to, you know, uh, perform testing for different combination of username and password. So this is very basic scenario. In real scenarios, you'll have a lot more complex you know test cases wherein um, you are required to you know um, either create data for uh, you know uh, doing the further testing so even you can utilize the data provider to you know create the data set or the test data to further do the testing of the further scenarios so data provider are helpful in many you know uh, scenarios wherever the data driven uh, sort of you know uh, approach is required and uh, even if you are required to uh, create the test data for any of your test cases be it your manual test case or even further automation test case that require that particular set of data to be available now in order to implement this with a data driven testing so uh, say so for example i have a script to you know provide username and password and click on login manually if i'm doing it i'll be you know uh, picking up the first username and the password and then clicking on login verifying it and then again picking up the second username password and verifying so similarly i'll convert this particular test case into you know automated script and then in the place of username and password um, you know uh, i'll simply replace the username and password from the data provider in each run right so it is similar with the manual uh, test cases in manual test case you are performing exa exactly similar steps the only change is basically you know change in the username and password and then verifying the error message that different error message is displayed so in the automation you have to do the same thing with the data provider so let's go back to um, eclipse and what i'll do is i'll simply copy the same file and uh, say I'll name it as two and here let me remove this one and I'll remove the other data provider so in this particular data provider right I want to use four username and passwords right so there are different four scenarios that I want to test I'll remove this one and let's go back and so the password is standard uh, username is standard user so i'll change it to standard user and then logged out user that's the second username then there is a problem user and the last one is performance glitch user okay right and password for all of them is secret sauce so we don't have to copy paste again and again so i'll simply replace the password for each of that all right okay so now i have created my data provider right which will uh, you know provide me the username and password and then this particular data provider will be called from the test right and in my test in my test i'll have the script to basically uh, you know uh, provide this username and password and click on login button and then with this particular data provider my test case will be executed four times with different set of data okay so let me remove this and i'll implement this with selenium web driver so data provider is not data set here so it is 
create so i'll replace it with create uh, because the name of the data provider is create okay and now the first step is basically to launch the browser and open the test url okay so how we can do it we'll, we can simply say web driver manager dot chrome driver and dot setup so if you haven't watched my previous tutorial just go through those uh, wherein i have explained all this in the selenium tutorials and then web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver all right and import the web driver and chrome driver libraries and then i'm opening the browser okay i'm opening the url and what's the url url is sourcedemo.com so i'll provide that url here okay so now the browser is open and the url is launched now i have to type in the username in the username field password in the password and click on login button right so simply right click and cl click on inspect and we'll try to find out what are the attributes so the id is username so we'll use id for the username field for the password id is password and let's inspect login as well and for the password id is login hyphen button okay let me copy username and we'll use these ids so we'll say driver dot find element and then by id and the id is for the username is username and then dot send keys is the method that we'll use to send the user name right now we are sending the username right so username is getting we are getting from the data provider right so we'll simply pass this argument here in the username right so data provider will provide me the username so it standard user will be returned and here in this particular method will be stored here caught here and then passed on here okay similarly for the password right so we'll say here the id for the password was password if we look closely right so here you see the id is password right and id for the login button is login hyphen button okay so here it is password this password is being passed here and then let me copy that and then i'll simply click on the login button by id so simply copy the id and dot click right so we are clicking on this particular button and then i'll simply close the browser so driver dot close so once uh, this particular uh, execution has been done i'm closing the browser okay so this is very simple script to provide username password and click on login button right and where i'm getting the data from so i'm not hard coding any data here now in my script right so data is coming from this particular data provider okay so uh, all the data is stored in these four rows so this can be considered as one row um, the second row third row and fourth row right and two columns so because there is this is the first data second data so each row has two column um, uh, sorry two set of data right so this data will now be utilized in this particular script now let me save it and run it and see that it executes these four test cases successfully so it will launch chrome browser get to the url and iterate through all that particular data so you can see standard user clicked on login close the browser and then again open the browser logged out user and then again close the browser then it will iterate through the third set of data and then finally fourth set of data right and then finally closed the browser right so in the right hand side you can see 
that the test method has been executed four times with a different set of data, right? So the first set was standard user, secret sauce, then logged out user, then problem user and pro performance glitch user, right? So this is, uh, you know, the actual sort of scenario in any of your, you know, real application. That's, uh, you know, how you will be using data provider to fetch the data from the data provider and utilize it in your test method. Now, when we go to the framework section, we'll, uh, you know, understand a lot more detail about how you will, you know, create uh, the data driven testing even in a much better approach than this one as well. So, but this is really, really helpful um, to, you know, do your simple test cases and perform data driven testing for the simple test cases. If you go to these, you know, details um, of the execution here in the console, it will give you the detail of the past or fail along with these results. So that's all about the practical usage of a data provider in your test case. Hope you like the tutorial. Please do share and subscribe and thank you for watching.